Hi, I'm in New York City, and for those of you who know music, know Karsh Kali. Hi, Karsh. Welcome to Unbaz. Thank you for having me. Of course. So let's get right into it. Tell me a little bit about your style, Asian Massive. Well, it's 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 definitely a style that's evolved over the years, and it's uh, it's really about um, addressing the environment that we, when I say we, the artists that kind of make up the Asian Massive, which are artists from New York, London, Delhi, Tokyo, and these are artists that grew up as second generation Asians who are trying to express their own environment and trying to trying to create a kind of a, a cultural stamp on the, in the place that they live. So Karsh, you're Indian and you grew up in the States, right? Mm. So why did you choose to do music that infuses cultures from around the world? Why not just Indian? Well, I mean, I think that when people say that I infuse cultures from around the world, I think it's a little bit of a misnomer because I, I actually infuse cultures in which that I, in which I existed. Okay. So, I mean, if I'm if I was only to play Indian music, I'd be I wouldn't really be telling the truth about where I'm really coming from. Right. So, I, I, what I what I do is I take all of the different worlds that I come from, which is Western classical music, Indian classical music, rock music, electronic music, and I bring all of these worlds together only because that's me just being honest about where I come from. So when you are composing music, what inspires you? Is it parts of your life, something you've heard? It's usually parts of my own life. It's usually memories in my own childhood or memories in my, in my life and things that I've had to overcome or, you know, I mean, those are usually the best places to go when you need inspiration for, to, to write something. But uh, I also tend to write music that's not necessarily, I mean, even though it's inspired by something personal, it doesn't necessarily need to translate into exactly that for the listener, so that, you, so that the emotion, the emotional content is there without it being literally a translation of that event in my life. Well, you just had a new album that came out. Mm. So, I, I heard some of the songs. In fact, I loved the Umrao John make that you had in it. I just loved it. Mm. But what's your what was your favorite piece in that album? And tell me about how your personal life kind of inspired that piece. Well, the, the piece that you're referring to, which, is right. called, which I call Turnpike, right. um, which the title refers to driving down the New Jersey Turnpike as a child. Um, listening to all different types of music, but especially four styles of music which were film music from India which my mother was really listening to right. and my father was listening to a lot of classical music and my brother was listening to a lot of rock music and my sister was listening to Casey Kasem Top 40 and I was too young to make a choice so I was basically stuck in this, these four different worlds as I was growing up so the, the song Turnpike is really about it's like a diary of my childhood. So growing up what musicians did you look up to? Who inspired you? I, I think there were there were a lot of musicians that inspired me, but I think that a real turning point for me was when I when I first when I first got to discover Zaki Rusin, and especially watching him perform live, oh, yeah. you know, because I was um, I was enamored by drummers, I was enamored by um, by rock musicians especially because I felt like they were truly free to um, express beyond the boundaries of what was laid in front of them, yeah. and the, the the ones that really thrived were the ones that were breaking those boundaries. And when I saw Zakir Bai for the first time, I mean, besides being incredibly eloquent at the repertoire of Indian classical music, he was also breaking all the boundaries. Oh, and yeah. he was a rock star, you know. And that, for me, as a young kid, it allowed me to think that I could take this music from my, fam from my family, from my culture, and take the attitude of, of rock and roll, of this music that was inspiring me, and bring it together into one sound. And if, if I didn't see that concert, I don't think I would have really decided that that was something that I could that I could do in my own life. Right. So that, that's just amazing. I love Zakir as well. So you, on that note, you're a percussionist. You also compose, mm. and you play several instruments. Did you know your whole life that you were going to be a musician? I think I did. I, I, I always knew that I wanted to play music. I don't know right. if I necessarily knew what that meant as right. far as making a living and, yeah. and you know making it your profession um, but I, I mean as far as just exploring music I was always kind of because I was the drummer I always had all the musicians play at my house so when they would go home I would they would leave their instruments at my house so I learned how to play everybody else's instruments as well
So tell me what's next for you. Well, there's, uh, I, I've, been, I've been scoring films for the past four or five years, and, right. and there's, there's a couple of new film projects that are coming up. I'm um, going to be recording a new album. Um, I loved what you did with the more of them and Karthik, calling Karthik, by the way. Just loved it. And we have a new, uh, there's a new film and a new soundtrack that's going to be coming out in, uh, at the end of August called Soundtrack, which is uh, directed oh. by uh, Nirav Ghosh, which is a film about a DJ um, in India who uh, um, basically kind of goes through the whole debauchery of, of, that, of that kind of lifestyle and then in the middle loses his hearing. And, uh, and kind of has to come to terms with how to re, um, rediscover music through vibrations. And uh, it's a really interesting story. And uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's, uh, it's definitely something where um, myself and the Medieval Pundits, my partners, yeah. um, really got to kind of go back into our own experience as artists to be able to you know, inform ourselves as composers for this film. Well, the title of our show today is Creatures of the Night. So I have to ask you, Karsh, what's your favorite nighttime activity? My favorite nighttime activity is is making music. I think that's what that's when I make the most music. You know, I think especially living in New York, when um, you know, I think past two in the morning, there's a whole different energy in the air, and there's the phones aren't ringing, and there's really nothing else to to distract you. And you know, I could find myself working till till the sun comes up. Yeah. yeah. So you're definitely a creature of the night for then. For sure. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Karsh. It was so nice talking with you thank today. Thank you so much for having me. Avaz, brought to you in part by Kingfisher Airlines.